Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Happy weekend to you my friend around the world and also happy birthday to Billy Gilmore, Billy Esther and Kai Harvett, both Champions League winners. Yeah, Billy Gilmore won the Champions League with Chelsea Football Club and he played a lot of games. He wasn't just on the bench, he's a winner. That is something that uh, Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspurs will just dream. <laughs> but Billy already uh, done it. Anyways, people, I have it. Only 23 years old. Can you believe it? And just imagine when he got to, to his peak, right? Like 25, 26 years old. He's going to be in another level. And I think... Todd Bowley, after signing um, Rhys James and Mason Mount, after giving them another long-term contract, he needs to start negotiating a new contract with Kai Havert because Real Madrid might be knocking in the door after a couple of seasons. So we don't want to get to the situation of Rudiger and Christensen to live for free, but I think he's generational and he's gonna just get better and better. For Billy Gilmore, my brother, Billy Esther, I think the way I see it at Chelsea, the way we are looking for other midfielders and all that, I don't have a, a good feeling about it. I think he's gonna be loaned out. Hopefully he can go and join Frank Lampard uh, who trusts him and who can give him enough playing time. But I won't mind if we let Jorginho go and give Billy Gilmore a chance to show us what he can do regularly. I don't want to really see players on the on the bench often because uh, somebody like the Billy Gilmore need a lot of games in order to develop. But one more time, happy birthday to Billy Gilmore and happy birthday to I have it. All right, people, I got a lot of questions every single day or every single hour. When are we going to announce Kulibali, Kunde, Dembele, Jesus, Sterling, Rice? When are we going to announce some players? Brother, be patient because... The window just opened like yesterday. That is less than two days. And our transfer dealings or the takeover was allowed like less than two weeks ago. Okay? So we didn't have time to prepare in advance. Many people are comparing us with Man City. Look at Man City. They already, they already signed Alvarez. They already signed Haaland. Brother... They didn't have the ban. They were not under suspension. So signing somebody, it takes time. It takes months. It can even take years, weeks in advance of talking. And then you're going to come to the conclusion. Look at Liverpool. Okay. Darwin Nunes. Look at Aston Villa. Look at, look at, look at. We can't compare our situation to other teams because we are in a different situation than them. So please be really patient because at the back room, Thomas Tuko and his boy Todd Bowley are cooking. We are cooking, people. If we get key players that we 
we need in the team, we should be fine. Don't worry. If we can get a few players before the preseason, everything is going to be all right. And talking about everything is going to be all right, I made a video early on just to calm you down, to show you how Todd Bowley transformed the Dodgers from zero to heroes. They are the kings here in America for the last nine years because of strategies that Todd Bowley and his people put in place. So, if you don't mind, you have a little bit of time in your hand, please check on that video, okay? Go on the green turf search list or whatever it's called. You will see amazing videos that I make. You know, videos nowadays, you have to put clickbait. You have to say Dembele official sign announced in order for people to watch. But I don't do that. I don't do evil. I don't do stupid. But there are certain videos that you put a lot of time, energy, and money to make, right? To make people understand, for example, the story of the, the history of the club or something that happened in the past in order to prepare the future. People don't want to hear that. People just want to hear what is happening now. Tell me what I want to hear. So this video here that I made took me a few days to ask for the copyright and all that. Make this video to uh, to make you, uh, to give you some hope, okay? Because people think that Americans are there to make money and we're going to become Arsenal. No. Watch this video here. Look at the title. Todd Bowley to make Chelsea invisible. How Bowley saved the Dodgers. Get excited, Chelsea fans. So you have to get excited and you have to find time to watch this video here. And other videos that are made in the channel, by the way, when you make a very intelligent and co composed video, people don't watch it. People don't watch those kind of like documentary. I don't know what's going on with today's generation, but sometimes you don't always need to hear what you want to hear. History of the club is more important. And I even made my review series here. Overall player ratings, but no many people really care about what happened. Like Chelsea fans, they don't really care about the past. They don't care about the future. But if you don't know about your past, it's almost impossible to prepare the future. You know what I mean? So just go on my list. You will find some videos that people really don't care. But it says a lot of key important things that will, ha will help you to be patient and will, will just show you how the club function, what we can learn from last season to prepare next season. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's go. All right, people. So, this is what people are waiting for. It's a meltdown in the on social media at the moment. People are punching each other, calling Americans names, sign some players. It's all reactionary. So, I'm not going to get into that. It's becoming so boring to talk about Kunde, Dembele, same old, same old, every single day with different titles. Are you tired? I am tired. I don't want to continue talking about... <sighs> it is what it is. And this is the moment that sources and big accounts on social media try to create some something some fight okay put something out there to get attention get views get likes just try to attack somebody attack thomas tuko attack americans todd Bowley, without any context just for reaction to get reaction from people to manipulate people's mind what's going on with these people man so let's go read some here Chelsea are ready to make a move for Inter the bridge and uh, 
Diesel Dumfries is also a target. Sounds familiar? Yes, we've been talking about this crap for the last three days. Or the last two weeks or so. N'Golo Kante has left the French camp due to a new injury. This one is something that I've been saying. Chelsea and France are abusing N'Golo Kante. We don't give him the rest that he deserves. We force him to play games. And if he was given one full week on the beach to recover, we can have a better N'Golo Kante for next season. It's going to benefit Chelsea. It's going to also benefit France. But no, we think that he is, he, can, he don't deserve any kind of rest. We need to use him and burn him down. And some people are going to say he's injury prone. He's such and such without any context or common sense. It is what it is. He, he left the camp now and then he need to recover from that knock. And then after a couple of weeks, he need to go back at, at Chelsea.